Hello, I am Marcus Infestus. Welcome to Grey Hanger's Black Site, where I have been experimenting with claim drives. Behind me, I have the Black Project 228 TAC1 Crow. This is my first Black Project that I'm saving. Um, this has twin clang engines on board. Um, there was a great video put out by Rhino Spartan where, where he demonstrates a very stable small grid clang drive. Um, I've used the very basic concept from that to create this. All it really is is a piston pressed on the bottom edge of a door. Uh, the trick, of course, is the stability. Um, so one of the tricks that I've learned, I'm going to show it to you really quick here, is your point of balance, your center of gravity, or uh, center of mass is what the game calls it. If you notice, that center of mass just above my head is dead center with the axis of the engines. Um, and with the engines on either side, everything's symmetrical, so all the force should be straight on. Because what I've learned about cling drives is that they try to rotate an object on its point of balance. It tries to spin it on your CG, so whether that's up and down or left or right, if you're not balanced, that cling drive will let you know. But anyway, I wanted to let you know what I learned about clang drives a little bit and then give you a demo flight, see what it's like to fly one of these. Um, so hopefully I can bring it right back down here without crashing it, so uh, let's see what I can do with her. Let's have a look at this baby. I'm actually very proud of the design of this. I was kind of going for a cross between a P-38 Lightning and a uh, Y-Wing was kind of the, the idea behind this. And of course I wanted it to have all the sex appeal of an N1 from Naboo. Let's get this baby in the air. Um, there's a phantom force that pins this thing to the deck that I don't understand. Um, so I like to kind of bunny hop it. But anyway, I, I popped its nose up into the air and punched the, the number one. That's my, my claim drives. Uh, let's have a good look at this thing getting the landing gear up. Boink. Yeah, that's kind of my thing, so that's what tracks. Right now, if you notice number two, that's my stabilizing gyro. It is actually set, its power is set to 0 .001. Right now it's at less than 1%. So let's have a look at that gyro. There we go, gyro, stabilizer. Oh, 1%. Oh. There you go. Still works great. And what that does is allows you to still kind of throw the airplane around a little bit. But I like to fly with that turned off because now all of a sudden I have command of this aircraft. But if you look, it's flying really nice and center. And the reason for that is that I've got it all balanced. Okay, I threw it around a little hard, and it's actually rotating on its own right now. So I'm going to turn the engines off and on, and I have command of the ship again. So that is another thing about these claim drives, is when you whip them around, they will torque roll on you. They'll pick a direction, and they'll try to roll you. Um, it's not that bad, you can usually fight it back over, but if you're really struggling with it, just turn the engine off and turn it right back on. It'll center itself. Um, my pistons are set at minimum, um, let's see, let's have a look at that, put this thing in cruise. Okay, the pistons, the maximum is set for 0.5 and the minimum is 0.4. So when you tell this thing to go, it's pretty much instantaneous, it's already right there. Uh, but this is kind of the maximum, is 0.5 meters, uh, where it's going to press on the door and create the force that you want without creating unnecessary instability. Um, and again, this is just stuff I've learned, so definitely rip this thing apart and goof with it. Um, change the numbers around, change the, the, change the, uh, the distance settings, change the overrides. Mess around with it, see what happens. it's a pretty good flyer and of course this thing is capable of going into space um, I just 
haven't really put any thought into how this would perform in space, how this would uh, dock, and things like that. Um, this is a ground-based aircraft, which means any services done to it are going to have, have to be done somewhere with gravity. Um, it doesn't care what the environment is, it'll fly in it. Um, but if you want to land somewhere, it's probably going to be somewhere with a, a land-based airstrip and a little bit of gravity. Uh, you can whip this thing around and do a 360 uh, to stop it in space, but you're always going to have a little bit of drift. It's going to be really weird. Uh, flying in space is fantastic. I, I think this thing is really much more at home in space than it is in gravity. Uh, so it's kind of interesting in that without fuel and with its incredible power consumption, I mean right now we, we're, we could fly this thing for four hours. Um, I am in creative mode right now because that's how I build, but I mean if we'd just taken this thing up in the air, we'd have four hours to fly this thing. Um, so with that being said, if you wanted a, if you wanted an interceptor, some kind of defense ship for your base that could that could defend against things that are still on route from space, this thing could take off, go to space, and intercept that thing and come, come right back to base. Okay, so I got my landing gears down. Coming in to make my landing attempt. Okay, you can land this thing traditionally. It's kind of hard, so I'm going to cheat. I'm going to show you the cheat. Gonna turn my stabilizing gyro on. All right, before I hit that runway, I'm gonna pop the chute. Look how stable that is. I mean, that sh that chute is balanced as well, so that it doesn't jerk your aircraft around. It's gonna be about the nicest land you can hope for. Um, so at, at 30 meters per second, you can kind of cruise along the runway until you decide I want to stop here. I'm gonna shut that clicker off. But anyway. That's a quick demonstration. Um, I hope I didn't do too much talking and not enough flying, but uh, you know that's that's the crow. That's the Black Project 228 Tech One. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Um, incredibly, we made it back on the deck, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.